everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. It's Wednesday, it's time for your Disney Plus news. Before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest. So, the big one today is Aladdin has come to Disney Plus. This is the new sort of 2019 version with Will Smith as the genie. Um, yep, this one it looks pretty great. I went to cinema to see it last year and I am really looking forward to it watching this one again this week. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I was not expecting to like Aladdin when I saw all the trailers I thought it looked awful and I was just like Ugh. went to see it loved it I love the music the whole way they've done it and yeah I really recommend you check it out this is the great thing about Disney Plus it doesn't cost you anything if you're already a member jump in watch it and there we go but yeah so Aladdin is the big one for today and yeah you can't really go too much more than that it's a huge one um so now let's move on to some other news um, according to Bartley's, Disney streaming services, which include Disney+, Plus, ESPN+, Plus, and also Hulu, they are estimating it is valued at $107 billion for the whole complete unit. Um, they sort of did some mathematics to kind of work out and take away what they earn and what they're not earning and from the other divisions and a whole load of other bits and pieces. And really kind of showing really of why Disney are investing so heavily into streaming because they can see what's happening. They can see the way people are kind of watching uh, television. So it's very important that they do this. And yeah, just as a whole, um, yeah, that value is going to probably continue to go up as Disney Plus continue to get more subscribers. Um, Bartley's are estimating, I think that Disney Plus is going to hit about 25 million by the end of the first quarter, which is the end of this month which seems to be in line with what we've heard so far, but we're just gonna to have to wait and see. Disney were sort of saying between 60 and 90 million subscribers by the end of year five. I think they're gonna be hitting that much earlier, especially once they hit um, the European launch date, which is coming on um, March 31st. And to tie in with that as well, those of us in Europe, we have been getting emails from them kind of confirming, kind of just reminding us all that Disney Plus isn't out in Europe yet, but it will be coming soon. So. That's that, and also just a quick last story uh, from discussing film. It looks like the Peter Pan live action movie is going to be starting production in April in Canada, and it has also been renamed Peter Pan and Wendy. That's not to confuse it with the new Wendy movie coming from Disney's Fox Searchlight, which is going to be coming out um, in the next few weeks. Yeah, I don't know why we need another new live action version of Peter Pan, but obviously it comes down to money. We don't yet know if this is going to be a Disney Plus original or if it will be going to cinemas first. We're just going to have to wait and see. Nothing really too much has been announced yet. But before we go off, make sure you do go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. We are doing a $50 giveaway for an um, Amazon e-gift card. So you definitely want to go check that one out. Like, follow and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters. Mm -hmm.